Welcome back everybody. Thanks for joining me on another episode of Kenneth's Corner. Today I'm going to use this lemon cream pie filling mix to make a sponge cake. How am I doing that? Simple. I'm just going to use a normal sponge cake batter and I'm going to add the mixture in this box to that batter and bring everything together. So the ingredients we're going to use is some low fat lactose free milk, lime zest, my homemade pumpkin spice mixture. I'm going to use four eggs and I'm also going to use my homemade lemon extract. All right, so before we continue, I want to remind you, don't forget to check out this challenge, which I also did on my YouTube channel, and chocolate and chit chat. And I tagged a few of my fellow YouTubers. So let's continue. So what I'm doing here, I'm not going to use normal sugar. I'm going to use powdered sugar. I use one cup of powdered sugar and one pack of low fat butter. So I'm going to mix everything together. Don't forget to add your lime peel in this part of it, right? And once that is mixed, I'm going to start adding one egg at a time and bring everything together. The only time I used my mixture was to mix the powdered sugar and the butter. Other than that, I use a wooden spoon, one egg at a time and bring everything together. Make sure it is combining properly. And the main reason for using powdered sugar is absolutely none. I just choose to use powdered sugar instead of using the sugar crystal. So it's optional, ladies and gentlemen. You don't have to use powdered sugar. You could use the normal powdered sugar. As I said, it's a normal sponge cake batter you're going to use. So however you would make your sponge cake, you could do it that way. But if you want to try this way to get this result that I got, try this method and see how it comes out. So... As you saw, I'm adding my egg one at a time. Mix everything, make sure everything is properly well combined. And once that is done, we're going to start adding the filling. Now, the filling is just a, a sugar based filling. So, that was one of my reasons you could say for adding powdered sugar because I know this already have actual sugar in it with other spices and stuff. So, and I didn't want to blend it or mix it in too much. So I left little particles of it in there and I start adding my sifted flour. To this mixture, I only use one and a half cup of sifted flour because I wanted this sponge cake to be very light and airy and I didn't add any more. And again, it's according to where you're living and the temperature again. So I'm, then I'm adding two tablespoons of the milk I added. That's optional. You don't need it. And then I'm adding some of my pumpkin spice mixture. I added one teaspoon and I added one teaspoon of baking powder. And look how soft and silky. And you can, you can see little particles of the mixture that I added. So you will taste this filling throughout this cake mixture. So to my pre-greased baking pan, I am going to add all of the mixture that we just put together into this. And make sure that your oven is preheating before starting so you know at the time you're done putting everything together you're ready to go oven is ready for your mixture so i am going to place this mixture into my preheated oven for 30 minutes at 375 degrees before we continue i want to remind you to check out if you haven't already this orange mint pan seared lamb it was really delicious really easy and inexpensive so go over to my channel when this video is done and check out that recipe orange mint pan seared lamb so now let us continue after baking our cake for 30 minutes this is what it looks like I left it to cool and now I'm going to remove it but before we remove it we just check in to make sure it's properly well cooked so I placed a knife in there it come out clean so now let's move it you see how easy it comes out because I buttered the pan and I lightly dusted with flour and I first I use old school way again using the the wrapper of the butter to put in the cake so now let's cut into the cake it's really soft and moist and tangy and sweet so it's a good thing I use powdered sugar and not 
the sugar crystals because then it would have I to me I believe it would have been a little more sweet you know because the pie filling is really sweet because it's a sugar based filling and plus you know you add that so using the powdered sugar and plus adding that perfection and this is how easy I turn a simple sponge cake into something even more delicious and if you're watching this video and isn't following my channel or subscribe, do so right now. And let's go through some of my previous chit chat and recipes that we had. Orange mint pan seared lamb. Then we have the garlic challenge that I did. Also some sour sub water, healthier way to enjoy a very delicious Caribbean drink. And how I was able to control skin and weight loss. Also another good way to build your immune system in this deadly virus, the Trinidad and Tobago election, and so much more. And before I go, I want to tell you about my spice cocktail that I will be live launching live on YouTube soon. The date to be announced, I would appreciate if you would join me. Thanks so much for your support. Don't forget to like and subscribe and also share.